Hi, and welcome back to our Ask Agronomist video series. I am Phil Long, Precision Agronomy Advisor with Latham High Tech Seeds. This week we're in the office talking about a very important fertility topic, specifically why it's important to keep sulfur with your nitrogen. So, we always talk about nitrogen when it comes to corn production, how important it is for yields, but without sulfur that nitrogen is not near as efficient. What does sulfur do in the plant? Well, it does a lot of similar functions as nitrogen. Uh, it's going to help build proteins as well as amino acids. It's also going to be directly related to the chlorophyll content in the plant. So if you're lacking sulfur, similar to, to nitrogen, you're going to see yellowing in the plant because there's not as much chlorophyll production. It also plays a key role in, in grain quality, uh, seed set and, and grain quality specifically. Uh, if, you, if you are low on sulfur, you're going to see a lack of or less lower protein levels and, and so forth. And that goes for any crop, not just corn. Talking more particularly about corn, but also soybeans, sulfur is important. It helps that establish that uh, nodule formation uh, in, in soybeans. So you're going to have trouble getting good nodulation early season if you're low on and sulfur. So what do we like to see? Typically the general rule of thumb is 10 to 1. So what does that mean? If you're applying 200 pounds of nitrogen per acre, you want to apply roughly 20 pounds of sulfur per acre to get that 10 to 1 ratio of nitrogen to sulfur. That's important because, like I mentioned before, it's going to provide complementary, or I should say, more like working in tandem together in the plant. So sulfur does help get nitrogen in the correct form in the plant, um, which is really important if you're low on sulfur. It's going to hinder the performance of nitrogen as well. So your nitrogen fertilizer is not going to be as efficient just because you didn't have enough sulfur there as well. Where are you going to see that sulfur deficiency? Look for it early season this year. If you're seeing that yellowing in small corn plants, that's a good start. You need to go out and take some uh, pinpointed diagnostic tissue samples so that we can figure out if it's a sulfur deficiency. So you can make sure you're correcting it for, specifically for next year, staying ahead of that. So what are the best forms to use? Well, sulfur is taken up as a sulfate form, which is SO4 minus, which means it's the minus there, it's an anion, so in the soil, it's gonna move with water, just like nitrate. It'll, it'll leach down through the soil, move down through the profile. So if you're in a no-till situation, you can broadcast it out there, put it on top, it's gonna to move down through the soil profile. You could do that in the fall with something even like elemental sulfur. If it's a good grade of elemental sulfur, it's gonna, it's gonna get into the soil and continually doing that, you'll have enough there um, year after year for your plants. However, if you're in a situation where it's a deficiency, you need to put something that's there available now. So in the spring, you can use something like an AMS or uh, ATS, which is ammonium thiosulfate. You can put that in with your UAN. It's a great way to do it. Don't put these kind of things in the furrow, obviously. Uh, that's not a good idea. Uh, but AMS, ammonium sulfate granular, is a great source as well as ATS. Gypsum. Uh, which is calcium sulfate. So once again, sulfate, uh, it's in a form that's water, water soluble or, or more quickly available to the plants to, to take up. So remember, all these things, if you, wanna, if you wanna put it out there this spring, make sure it's in a form, a sulfate form. It's gonna be quickly available to your crop uh, and can be utilized this year uh, for this year's yield. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at one 877 go or visit us on our website at LathamSeeds.com. Thanks for watching this week's Ask the Agronomist.